Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 6 of Over the Moon for you. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I've, my day, oh god, because it's now 11 o'clock at night, gonna be 12 in the morning. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Not really. Some of us, you know, moving our sleep. I know I do. Well, not like that. <laughs> nah, she slept with you this time. <laughs> Oh. And so how long have you two been laying like that for now? Yeah, that's fine. You're a couple. Oh, you, you try to explain? <laughs> yes. Oh, he's so cute. There you go, Spooner. Oh, she's so- Oh my god! Are you sleep- Oh, That's so fucking cute. <laughs> she go right back down! Oh my god, damn! Oh my god, that's a cutie. Oh my- Excuse me. Okay, so literally, I got home at 8, 8.30, 9 o'clock after going food shopping for four hours. Yeah, how, uh, I'm wondering how the hell I went shopping for four hours, but that's what happens. And I was, we were going to put the food away and so that I could come and record this because I knew I was going to spend like two hours recording the final four shows and I knew I was going to be like, okay, I got to get this out tomorrow no matter what. My dog had a hard time like breathing and such and so we tried hauling like remover on him then we immediately go to my aunt's house and try it then he's okay and fine now after he got a hauling like remover and thank god he is he's he's walking around and everything he's okay he eat and drinking water and everything but <sighs> gave me a damn scare and ugh sitting in here crying and everything and thinking like oh my god I'm like thinking the worst and such as I said, this week was not my week. Honestly, this just, uh, this was a very stressful long week. And we're not really even done with the week. We still got tomorrow, Saturday, which will be in a couple of minutes. But Jesus, God, call me something like, uh, let's not do this again. Let me have a good week next week, please. I'm I'm begging you. <laughs> you wanna get a double bite? <laughs> I mean, honestly, you should have got that like day one. Yeah, not never I, I get that. That's okay. Until, you know, you two are ready to do perverted things, but still, in my opinion, I would have got that ish like day effing one. And plus I think you guys have the room for it. I mean, yeah, his room's not as big as like mine but they could probably fit it true <laughs> yeah and a couch uh-huh <laughs> see that's what I want to do with my future boyfriend or my future husband oh he's so cute 
<laughs> really, Nasa? Mm-hmm. That means you won't have to go anywhere. You can do everything all at home. Really? You're fine with that? <laughs> she's so fucking precious. I feel like she's kind of what, like, almost every guy wants in a girl. But, you know, not all of us girls are like that. It was supposed to be like the the muscle magazine. It should be good. <laughs> I mean, for a moment, I thought it was porno magazines. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> oh my god, that feels so good. Even though I just like freaking cracked my freaking arm. To write. <laughs> well, you can get another, um, what, a futa bed? Yeah, get another one of those. But instead of a single one, you can get a double one. I think there are double ones that are sold. I don't know. I'd have to go back and look. <laughs> yeah, because see, you know, let me agree with her. Not all of us want that tiny little apartment, but... If it's us starting out as a couple and everything, and especially as newlyweds, and you're promising someone, that's fine. Eventually, we'll get used to it. Oh, so, so, oh my god, Gaza, babe. I mean, it was bound to happen, though. <laughs> She's right. Because you need the rent, the down payment, at least more than, like, three months rent. I got some anime figures that I want to freaking display instead of leaving in my closet because I, I just I need to get some like freaking shelves in here and such <laughs> plus the fact is I want to buy more anime figures because there are a couple that I really really want yeah you should be able to find the right one You can't always ask your parents to do exactly. I mean, you know, your parents are probably going to want you to assume to do it on your own. And maybe if you really, truly needed help. 
I get that. Shouldn't you just wait until tomorrow? I mean, it's late. Let them down gently, okay? Excuse me. Okay, good. <laughs> Most women are right. Duh. Oh, her outfit's so cute. Really? Because you're married now? The day I have like my future husband, not not even my future husband, my future boyfriend, meet my mom first. That that is gonna be D Day for him. My dad, my dad's more of like a gentle kind of person. If she figured that all out, like, oh. <laughs> Excuse me, oh my god. It's okay. <laughs> it's right. Oh my god, so cute. So come on, let's go. Mm -hmm. They're understanding and they'll actually really listen to you. Yeah, they may be, I mean, your mom might be hella pissed when she sees y'all, but she she's probably understanding. We don't know. I, I really don't think we would count this as a honeymoon. I mean, it's just... Even NASA's thinking about this shit! <laughs> oh my god. What exactly is in Nara, Japan? I mean, I've seen Osaka and Tokyo and Kyoto from, like, videos and ish. But what's in Nara? <laughs> Oh. 
see, the biggest question is, we got, like, how many minutes left? We got, like, eight minutes left. <laughs> Please stop. Oh, my God. Stop me. Uh, we got eight minutes left. Like, are we actually going to be able to see his parents in this episode? That only you two can get to see. No, of course he does. <laughs> he loves it. Sure. I mean, there's no problem with that. Why are you... Uh, uh. Perfect. It's good. Uh. That's right. Yeah, so we we're definitely seeing this next week. No. Yeah, it'd be nice. What the fuck is that pose though? Oh, and taking the sub- I mean, the subway. My bad. The freaking bus. We, 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 not that much money for a subway? Probably early in the mo- oh, there we go. Early in the morning. <laughs> so you can get food? so exciting <laughs> Is that chi? Of course. <laughs> I know they could have took it. I mean, damn. Is it because of Akadama Drive and they fucked up the damn <laughs> the train? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs>
No, technically, like, oh, oh, her wife. Her other wife. <laughs> I know. I hated those shares, especially when I went on that, like, three, the three different chorus trips I went on. And, and them chairs are not comfortable. They're so bad. Are you going to take a picture of her? Oh my goodness! <laughs> no, 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 no. Just a lot of weight on him. Right, I mean, she a tough ass bitch, cause like, whoa. I mean, cause like, how fast is the Shinkansen? Like, hella fast. I mean, the fastest a bus can go is like what two a hundred, two hundred miles, I believe. I don't pay attention to no speedometer. I mean, of course, a car can go faster than a bus, but. <laughs> of course, they're perfect for each other. Yeah. Alright, Chi, I'm with you there. <laughs> I don't know if I agree with that, but I don't think I do, though. <laughs> but I'm really excited. I'm excited to see his parents, where he grew up, honestly. Because, you know how, like, when you meet maybe a friend, or you become a... I uh, can't speak... Uh, become in a relationship or have a relationship with a guy or a girl and you end up going to their hometown and seeing where they grew up and stuff and you can see oh this is the reason why he's like this now and everything and it's sweet and you get to like hear stories from his parents or like him telling you stories of, like what he was like in high school or middle school or elementary school and, like oh my god around his friends and everything freaking cutie patootie See, now it's kind of awkward that she <laughs> is there. I mean, she's technically, her and her maids are technically, like, third wheeling in this. So, you're looking at them like, oh my god, like, mm -mm, mm -mm. You know how, like, when you are with the your friends that are dating and then it's you, and you are just like, damn, I kind of know to need, like, I'm reading the room. You know when you have to read the mother effing room, and you're like, damn, like, let me just bounce and just get out of this situation because this is hella awkward. I mean, it, it, oh God, like it kind of happened to me. Um, I think I was, I, I just, I think we just graduated high school, me and my friend. Um, and we would literally like do nothing but play games almost all day. And so she decided to invite this guy that we both knew and it just felt so awkward. Even though they weren't dating, I was like, this just feels hella awkward to me because I know she has a crush on him and yada yada, but like, no, it was just like, it was really weird. It's one of the weirdest moments because you're, you're just like, should I stay or should I go? Because this is already like awkward as is and it just feels more awkward when like the tension between those two is just like annoying and stuff. I mean, as someone who... 
used to have a boyfriend and literally had that situation kind of done with one of my friends. Yeah, it is also awkward when it's that person and you and your boyfriend or a girlfriend, whoever you're dating and such, because you're like, yeah, you want to be lovey-dovey, but you can't because <laughs> that person in it, but it happens. Yeah, it was a cute little episode. I mean, honestly, the biggest thing at the at the end of the day is I want to see his parents. That's all. I mean, I just want to see where he grew up and everything because it feels like you you know a little bit more about that person where especially they grew up and everything and you get to see everything through their eyes even though really it's your eyes and it's like that. But yeah, like, and the fact that they got a camera and she gets to take pictures. I mean, this boy went nuts taking pictures of her. I mean, <laughs> Hella nuts. I mean, it's just like, hey, if my future husband or future girlfriend, this is for like everybody. Don't take pictures of me like that. That I don't want them. <laughs> Somebody's gonna make that joke because of this episode. I don't know, but other than that, guys, that was very action to be towards episode six of Over the Moon for you. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially next Friday. I mean it. I'm so sorry about what the heck happened for episode 7. Bye guys!